Another driver is trying to pass your car. You should A. Pull off the road. B. Signal to the other driver when it is safe for them to pass. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. D. Speed up. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. Keep right when another driver begins to pass you on the left. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to let the passing vehicle move back into the right lane as easily as possible. When there are no signs or lane markings to control turning, you should A. Stop before turning. B. Turn from the lane that is closest to your desired direction. C. Turn from the center lane. D. Turn from any of the lanes. B. Turn from the lane that is closest to your desired direction. Any turn should be made from the lane that is closest to the direction you want to travel and into the lane closest to your original lane. You may drive around the gates at a railroad crossing. A. When the train has passed. B. Under no circumstances. C. When the lights have stopped flashing. D. When other drivers drive around the gates. B. Under no circumstances. You are required to stop at all railroad crossings when signals warn of an approaching train. These signals may include flashing red lights, a lowered crossing gate, a flagger signaling, or a train's audible signal of warning. Do not attempt to go around a lowered gate. To enter a freeway. A. Signal. Yield to existing traffic. And enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. B. Signal and enter the freeway. Freeway traffic must yield. C. Drive slowly so you can check traffic. D. Always come to a complete stop first. A. Signal. Yield to existing traffic. And enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. When merging into traffic, you should signal and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. Always yield to other traffic when entering a roadway. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Who is required by law to wear a seatbelt while in a moving vehicle? A. All occupants. B. Only the driver. C. Only occupants under the age of 18. D. No one. A. All occupants. In Washington state, all occupants of a moving vehicle are required by law to use properly fastened seat belts. According to the Occupant Protection Law, police officers may stop and cite drivers or passengers if they are not using their seat belts. If a passenger who is under the age of 16 is not wearing a seat belt, the driver will be fined. When changing lanes, you can check your blind spots by A. Using the inside rearview mirror. B. Using the outside rearview mirror. C. Using both inside and outside rearview mirrors. D. Turning your head and looking over your shoulder. D. Turning your head and looking over your shoulder. You should turn your head to check your blind spots before every lane change. This road sign means A. One-way road B. No right turn C. Exit D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead this sign indicates that there is a sharp right turn ahead.
You need to use extra caution when driving near a pedestrian using a white cane because A. He or she is deaf. B. He or she is a police officer. C. He or she is blind. D. He or she has poor balance. C. He or she is blind. When driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or walking with a guide dog, you must slow down, yield the right of way, and then proceed with caution. Be prepared to stop your vehicle in order to prevent injury or danger to the pedestrian. Generally, how many alcoholic drinks will the human body get rid of each hour? A. Half a drink. B. One drink. C. Two drinks. D. Three drinks. B. One drink. It takes about one hour for the body to get rid of the alcohol in a single drink. This road sign means A. All traffic must turn right. B. No right turn. C. All traffic must go straight ahead. D. A road joins from the right. D. A road joins from the right. This sign indicates that there is an intersection ahead. A road joins from the right. Hydroplaning is usually caused by A. Excessive stops. B. Sudden stops. C. Sudden turns. D. Excessive speed. D. Excessive speed. Your tires become less effective at clearing water from the road as you increase your speed. If you drive too fast, they may lose their grip entirely, leaving the vehicle sliding on a film of water. This is known as, hydroplaning. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Look for a train station ahead. B. Signal before going any further. C. Slow down and yield for trains. D. Stop. C. Slow down and yield for trains. This sign indicates that there is a railroad crossing on the road ahead. You should always slow down when approaching a railroad crossing. Trains cannot yield to cars, so you must let them pass before crossing the tracks. To turn right at an intersection with a steady red light, you should A. Slow down and look for traffic before turning. B. Stop, signal, then turn when safe, if no sign prohibits the turn. C. Signal and wait to turn until the light turns green. D. Wait until you have a green turn arrow before turning. B. Stop, signal. Then turn when safe, if no sign prohibits the turn. At a steady red light, you may turn right provided that no posted sign prohibits it. You must come to a full stop first. Always use your turn signal before making any turn. You must stop for a school bus. A. That is parked on the shoulder of the road with no one in it. B. When it approaches you, even if its lights are not flashing. C. If you are both driving on a two-lane highway and its red lights are flashing. D. Whenever the driver waves at you. C. If you are both driving on a two-lane highway and its red lights are flashing. You must stop when approaching a school bus that is displaying flashing red lights while stop to pick up or drop off children. On a two-lane road, traffic moving in both directions must stop and remain stopped as long as the red lights near the top of the bus are flashing and or the stop arm on the left side of the bus is extended.
Be cautious when large trucks, buses, and vehicles with trailers make turns because A. They yield to all left turning traffic. B. They back up to make room before completing the turn. C. They make wide turns and may cross the center line. D. They may stop unexpectedly during the turn. C. They make wide turns and may cross the center line. Large trucks, buses, and vehicles pulling trailers swing wide and sometimes must cross the center line to make turns. For your safety, you should not crowd the intersection or attempt to pass these vehicles, especially on the right side. As a pedestrian, you should a. Always insist on the right of way over a vehicle when using a crosswalk. b. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. c. Enter a crosswalk at any time because it is the vehicle driver's responsibility to stop. d. Use crosswalks only if they are convenient. b. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Pedestrians should not enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Though pedestrians have the right of way in crosswalks, a vehicle approaching from a close distance may not have the time to stop before entering the crosswalk. If you stop along the road at night, a. Turn off all your lights. b. Use your parking lights only. c. Use your headlights only. D. Turn on your emergency flashers and leave your low beams turned on. D. Turn on your emergency flashers and leave your low beams turned on. If you stop along the road at night, turn on your emergency flashers and leave your low beam headlights turned on. Be sure that other road users will be able to clearly see your vehicle. Guide signs are Fill in the blank Signs that provide directional and mileage information to drivers. A. Yellow B. Red C. Green D. White C. Green Guide signs, sometimes known as destination signs, have a green background and provide directional and mileage information to specific destinations. They can be a helpful resource when driving in unfamiliar locations. This sign means A. Narrow bridge ahead B. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead C. Industrial area D. Freeway on ramp ahead B. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign warns drivers that the right lane is ending or that the road is narrowing ahead. If involved in an accident, a driver should a. Stop their vehicle at or near the scene. b. Not stand or walk in traffic lanes. C. Turn off the ignitions of wrecked vehicles. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If you are involved in an accident, you must stop at or near the scene. Move your vehicle out of the way of traffic, if possible. Do not stand or walk in traffic lanes as you could be struck by another vehicle. Turn off the ignitions of wrecked vehicles. When driving on a road with two lanes traveling in opposite directions. A. You may drive in either lane. B. Use the lane with the least traffic. C. Use the right lane, except when you're legally passing another vehicle. D. You may use the left lane if you're going to turn left. C. Use the right lane, except when you're legally passing another vehicle.
On a road with two lanes traveling in opposite directions, you must drive on the right side of the road, except when you are legally passing another vehicle. A driver above the age of the 21st of may not operate a vehicle if they have a minimum THC level of fill in the blank per milliliter of blood a 0 nanograms b 1 nanogram c 3 nanograms d 5 nanograms d 5 nanograms it is illegal for a driver who is age 21 or older to operate a vehicle with a minimum THC level of 5 nanograms per milliliter of blood. A driver who is under the age of the 21st of may not operate a vehicle with any detectable amount of THC in their blood. The use of marijuana while driving can be extremely dangerous. When approaching a flashing red traffic light, Drivers should a. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. b. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. c. Stop if a police officer is nearby. d. Treat the light like a stop sign. d. Treat the light like a stop sign. Flashing red lights are used at dangerous intersections. Treat them like stop signs. At an intersection with a yield sign, you should a. Always stop before entering the intersection. b. Yield just to the traffic on the right. c. Yield just to the traffic on the left. d. Slow down and yield the right of way to other traffic. d. Slow down and yield the right of way to other traffic. A yield sign means that you must slow down and yield the right of way to traffic in the intersection or roadway you are entering. Seat belts are most effective when they are worn by A. The person driving the car. B. Passengers when they are on a long drive. C. All occupants of a car being driven on an expressway. D. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. D. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. When you drive, make sure each person in your vehicle wears a seat belt. In the event of a crash, a person without a seat belt becomes a flying object and a danger to each person in the vehicle. 